Who's your commander? Good luck. Equipped. Move to combat. Resolves. Right. Now, before you attack Does me. anyone have an answer? Well played. Good game. Happy Valentine's Day, my magical darlings. My name is DJ, and this is the Jumbo Commander YouTube channel. Today, I have something a little bit silly for you, and it is the sexiest magic cards ever printed. I did a lot of work on this video, so it is definitive and exhaustive. Let's start off looking at a couple uncards. They help remind us that magic can be fun and sometimes it can just be a good joke, just like this video. Save life is just a full on bikini. Can't get much straightforward than that, except for red hot hottie. <laughs> this elemental is designed to be a very, very hot. And then of course, there's always the wonderful uncard called sex appeal that literally addresses the sexiness involved in magic. All right, let's get into the real top 10. And the first one happens to be my favorite. Are you attracted to powerful women? Then maybe Tessa will be the right kind of woman for you. Tessa, Envoy of Ghosts. Just look at the way she's sitting and that Orzov symbol on her. It's just very, very nice. Did I, did I pull it off? All right, next let's go really old school. We have Gwendolyn de Corsi. In magic lore, she seduced thousands of men to their death on the island of Orbarg before it was a barren wasteland. Now, I really don't care about the art on this card, which looks um, kind of weird, <laughs> a little bit flat, but literally this is a woman seducing a man to his death on a magic card. All right, when I think of sexy planeswalkers, my mind immediately goes toward Liliana. Maybe it's the Steve Argyle art or so many different images of her, but she is definitely sexy. Although there's always this like tinge of necrophilia, which doesn't have me feeling as sexy, but there's one particular art where she looks very, very good and like super realistic too. And that's Liliana Defiant Necromancer. In this, she's marching towards you, her hands on fire. Yeah, she's surrounded by weird gross zombies, but that's okay because she's looking amazing in this art. Let's talk about another planeswalker. We used to fawn over pirate Jace and, and talk about how mopey and attractive he was, but there became another three CMC planeswalker that just wiped stupid sexy Jace out of the picture. And that's right, I'm talking about Oko. He's a trickster. He's there lounging with his wonderful chest exposed. And you know what? That eye makeup is definitely a sign of confidence. I could not pull that off. He's even like casually flipping a dagger around like he's like some gangster in a movie. And really that does add to the bad boy angle of sexiness. And so Oko is definitely on stupid sexy Oko. He sees him everywhere. And do you know what else too? He has that body and he's always eating food. You know that dangerous leather clad Oko has me thinking of another daredevil and that's Oval Chase Daredevil. You know, sometimes we get attracted to danger and literally in this picture, we have a drag racing heroine coming out of a crash with enough confidence to do a hair flip at the same time. She has definitely got a sexy look and also, we're all kind of attracted to someone who has a nice car, or maybe had a nice car. Hopefully she still has some. All right, we already talked about how ripped Oko was, but if you wanna talk about the truly muscled men of magic, we have to take a look at Maraxis. He is reaching the comic level of muscled. You know, to get a true scope, of how ripped he is, we're gonna have to look at another card, Desperate Gambit. Look at this art, look at his obliques. It's like someone copy and pasted an eight pack onto the side of his other eight pack. This is crazy. 
But you know what? This is a good life lesson too. No matter how many muscles you have, you are still vulnerable to being stabbed in the back. <laughs> That's a life, take that home. That's a life lesson for you. Next up, Chosen of Markov has to make the list because Edgar Markov has impeccable taste. This vampire is very sexy, and we also get a two for one. We get the look of a bride with like a ribbon around her throat, which I guess super turns on vampires, but then bam, we have sexy vampress all in lace, and that outfit has a very deep V. All right, for the next one, let's jump back into Magic's past because this is an art that could not be printed today. Let's take a look at Earthbind. It has a fairy in a bikini in bondage. Hey, no, no, wizards, wizards. No, don't be embarrassed. I'm not trying to kink shame you or anything. Just, I think it's super interesting and fascinating that like how much the art in Magic has changed because this is not being printed today. And it is definitely on the edge of something that I would even expect on a Magic card. And it definitely counts as sexy. All right, we're at the top two. What is going to be the sexiest Magic card definitively without anyone arguing anywhere in the comments down below? <laughs> Let's take a look at Vissandra Battle Seraph. She's a redhead, check. She's red feathered, check. That's sexy, trust me. She's got like a Princess Leia style bikini, 100%. Uh, and then also, I don't know if it does it for you, but she's also carrying a whip. That's definitely one of the more sexy weapons that she could have. And do you see her hair? It's doing a thing. It's doing an awesome looking thing. She is definitely, well, she's definitely gonna make target creature attack this turn of fable. <laughs> and finally, the sexiest Magic the Gathering card in Magic is Enthralling Victor. Oh my gosh, look at this man. He's got the chest going on. He's definitely got that V action, but then look at his hair. Just, he's been slaying people, but his hair has just got a little bit of a flip to it. He's got scars, but somehow the scars just kind of enhance his already ripped body. But what really makes this card, what really makes this the sexiest is you just have to look at the context. Look at that face down there of the audience. They're just looking up going like, oh, I can't <laughs> fathom the beauty. Um, if you stare at the sun for too long, you'll lose your ability to see clearly. Now that's some flavor text. So Enthralling Victor is our number one sexiest Magic the Gathering card. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. If you like videos like this that are a little bit silly, go ahead and click that thumbs up button. If you think that this is um, a waste of time, uh, click that thumbs down button because I really did spend a lot of time just looking at magic art for this, this video, an embarrassing amount of time. Um, but I do now have a, I don't know, a list of hundreds of cards, magic cards that are sexy in some way. This is a very difficult process, let me tell you. If you wanna give the gift of sexiness, take a look at Cool Stuff Inc. They're very cool, and cool is something you wanna to be to be attractive to the person you wanna be attracted to. Next up, I wanna thank my patrons. I genuinely love them, like not in like a weird way, but in an actual like, oh my gosh, they like make this and magic content creation work so thank you to my patrons and thank you for putting up with this silly video and uh i'm looking forward to seeing some of those comments down below uh tell me how i uh, messed up this list and what's the actual sexiest magic card out there all right everyone i'll see you guys really soon have a happy valentine's day Bye bye